is Susan London reporting from the annual meeting of the American Society of Clinical Oncology. I'm talking with Dr. Shastri about VIA screening for cervical cancer. Dr. Shastri, can you tell us a little bit about your findings? The study that we did in India was a large cluster randomized trial that looked at the efficacy of a simple test called visual inspection with acetic acid performed by primary healthcare workers in reduction or reducing mortality from cervical cancer. At 12 years of follow-up, the results clearly showed that there was a significant 31% reduction in mortality from cervical cancer in this study. Okay. And what does it take to implement a VIA program? Uh, number one, we need to very clearly understand that this is a test which does not require any laboratory support. And in this study, we used primary health workers who were 10th grade pass health workers whom we trained for a period of four months to be able to provide visual inspection of the acetic acid. Now, visual inspection of the acetic acid is a part of the colposcopy process in gynecology. We just picked up that process from there and trained primary health workers to be able to do it without the magnification. If you are talking about rolling it out on a national scale, the government of India is currently planning to take up VIA based cervical cancer screening in six districts of each state of the country. So uh, we have a plan which would require about six months for training all the people to carry out the VIA and we expect them to complete a single round of screening in all these six districts as part of the phase one of the study in two years. And do you have any cost or cost effectiveness data for your program? Uh, we haven't uh, done detailed cost effectiveness analysis, but if you want a ballpark figure, then it costs us about 30 Indian rupees, which is around 75 US cents to screen one woman. Okay. And can you recap briefly how VIA compares with pap smears and HPV DNA testing? There are other studies which have compared HPV DNA testing and VIA and pap smears. So in these inferiority trials, the sensitivity of VIA is close to or sometimes better than pap smear. The specificity of VIA is slightly lower than pap smear. So overall, it's a good technique. We are not losing anything in terms of quality. At the same time, it improves both access as well as affordability. Okay, and how about compared with HPV DNA testing? HPV DNA testing, we had not just an inferiority trial, we had an efficacy trial uh, where we were looking at a single round of screening. The study that I presented today spoke about VIA screening, four rounds of VIA screening by primary health workers, whereas the other trial which looked at HPV DNA and VIA and pap smear was a single round of screening. That study showed that HPV DNA is able to reduce cervical cancer mortality with a single round of screening, whereas VIA or pap smear are not able to do it with a single round of screening. Okay. And do you think that VIA screening might have any role in parts of the developed world? I'm sure that there are parts of the developed world where again the access and affordability to healthcare is poor like in developing countries. Uh, the low socioeconomic or the low resource populations and communities which are there and uh, I'm very sure that VIA might be a useful cervical cancer screening program for these areas. Thank you, Dr. Shastri. Thank you very much.